Why is International Women's Day? It is a chance to celebrate and reflect. It's an opportunity to celebrate the amazing progress that we've made towards women's equality and the people who have made that possible, but also to acknowledge that we've got a long road left to go. It gives us an opportunity to celebrate what women of the past and the future will do. To remember all the women who have given their lives and dedicated their lives to help the progress of women's equality throughout the decades of society. It gives us a chance to recognise how far we've come and how much progress we've made. It sheds light on problems that women have faced, like gender equality, reproduction rights, and abuse against women. It's so important for women, especially young girls, because it gives them the confidence to believe that they can achieve just as much as anyone else can. It gives us a moment to really think about the impact of women globally and locally on our lives. What does International Women's Day mean to you? It gives a chance for women to speak out and have a voice. It also gets us to learn about amazing women who have helped us get to this point where we are right now. It's a chance to reflect on the privilege that I have as a woman in 2023 to consider how I can contribute to making the world a better place for generations to come. For me, I think women have made such a difference to this world. They make a difference in our families, they make a difference in our industries. And a day like International Women's Day makes us look out Side of what might be our normal kind of profile. We might think of the teachers at school, they're international women, a lot of them, but actually it allows us to think about Turkish scientists, Syrian women who've made a difference, what's happening in Afghanistan and how we can support those. I have a chance to reflect on my future and how the women in the past have really helped me have a clearer path to success. Living in England, I'm privileged to have the exact same rights as I do. However, it raises awareness that there are women and there are young girls who don't have these privileges. I realise and I'm grateful that I am able to do those things. The opportunity to think about those that have influenced our lives, to share greatness that they've done and celebrate what women can do in society. Even though the world is really, really big, actually on International Women's Day it can feel really, really small because if you look around the classroom in this school, you see the impact of international women in absolutely everybody. Who are you inspired by? my mum because she's always there to support me and help me. She's a lawyer and she's always there for me. I'm mainly inspired by my nan and that sounds silly but my nan is 98 years old and she's not going to be with us very much longer. She's done a huge amount for me for my life and a huge amount with her life. She started her life in a very small village in Wales. She got herself out of that village and made a difference to lots of people in central London and then she's gone back to Wales where she grew so it's not really a who. Lots of people are always inspired by their family and that's absolutely true for me. One of the things that really inspires me and makes me get out of bed every day is the potential of the international women that we have in this school. Very often I say the reason that I come to work and the reason that I want to work here is because I think the next kid who's going to cure cancer is here, the next Prime Minister is here and that is really inspirational because it keeps us going. It means that we really try hard to make a difference because what we do in school is going to dictate how much potential you guys have in the future. So for me, it's not an individual, it's the potential of the kids in front of us. My grandmas, the sacrifices that they've made for their children and grandchildren are truly compelling and their strength and compassion is so inspiring. Angelina Pollard, she is the assistant and psychotherapist for Lewis Hamilton, for what you say he's an F1 driver. She dedicates her life to him so he can um, succeed in F1 and is now a seven time world champion. Gloria Steeman, because she's led many women's marches since the 60s, I hope to inspire many young women such as she did and make a difference in the world. My mom came to this country not knowing any English. She didn't know anyone in the UK. Done amazing for me in England. She's excelled at her job, provided for her family, and a similar thing goes for my sister. She's five years older than me and has always been a great role model. She's incredibly hardworking, she's independent, and is such an amazing woman. How are you embracing equity at Hornsey School for Girls? Well, one of the biggest drivers of equity is to give everyone the chance to realise their potentials and the ways that we're doing that at Hornsey School for Girls is to make sure that each and every child that we work with has the opportunity of realising that potential. So we've got the equity of provision in everything that we do through the curriculum and through the extracurricular kind of student experience to give you that chance to make that difference in the world. So equity is a really difficult thing to really understand because 
what it means is you essentially give each individual something that will make the difference for them. And it's not about giving everybody the same books, everybody the same everything. It's actually looking at each individual and thinking, actually what they need is this, this and this to be to have the same advantages as someone else. So I think we do that in the lessons, in the topics, in our assemblies. We try and do that across the board so that you both expand your experience and recognise the advantages that you have, but also you come to us and say, actually, this is preventing me from doing my best, and then we try and work with that as well. This year at Hornsey, we are... Embracing Equity.